Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We are still on review one for test five, which is the functions unit test, unit four. And we're on the back, we're gonna review chapter three, which is equations. So let's get started. I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so first you wanna combine like terms. But remember, if you're gonna go over the equal sign, you have to do the opposite operation. So this says positive two x, and that's positive four x. Two x is smaller than four x, so that's the one I'm gonna move over the equal sign. So I'm gonna subtract two x from both sides. Because you wanna move the smaller one to the larger one. Two x minus two x, just bring down the negative three, four minus two, to keep the x, keep the plus seven, because that just comes straight down. That just comes straight down. All right, now I'm gonna move the seven to the opposite side, so I'm gonna subtract seven from both sides. Okay, negative 10 equals two x. All right, now I'm gonna divide by two, and I get negative five equals x. That's nice, but now my favorite part. And check. So where is my pen? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Use this nice red one. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. 2 times negative 5. Can you see those are different colors? I can't even see they're different colors. I'll put a better color. Let's try green. All right. Minus 3 equals 4. Still times negative 5 because you're substituting negative five for x in every x, every situation. And that's plus seven. Two times negative five is negative 10 minus three equals four times negative five is negative 20 plus seven. Keep change, change. Negative 10 plus negative three equals negative 20 plus seven. So now they're both addition. Negative plus negative is negative 13 equals negative 20 and positive 7. They're different signs, so you subtract and you get 13. 20 is larger than 7, it's negative 13. So that checks, so that's the right answer. Yay, I can math. All right, the next one. This one, you have to do some uh, distribution. So I am multiplying negative 2. I'm sucking up that negative in front of there negative 2 times 3x, and negative 2 times, again, grab the negative in front of the number. So did anything happen to the 4? No, it's still 4x. Negative times positive is negative 6x. Negative times negative is positive 6 equals negative 6. Okay, 4x minus 6x, negative 2x plus 6 equals negative six. Subtract six from both sides. Negative two x equals negative 12. Divide by negative two. And x equals positive six. Be careful. Signs matter. All right, now I'm going to check it. Yay! Four times six minus two times 3x plus times 3, oh dear, I messed that up, oh well. 3 times 6 minus 3 equals negative 6. Ugh. Well, that's a think ahead, isn't it? 4 times 6 is uh, 24 minus 2. 3 times 6 is 18 minus 3 equals 6. 24 minus 2 18 minus 3 is 15, equals 6. Negative 6, Bono, negative 6. All right. 2 times 15 is 30, so 24 minus 30 is negative 6. 24 minus 30 is negative 6. That equals negative 6. Wow, that was a lot of math, and I almost messed up twice. But that's not too bad. So it worked. Yay! And now this one. 
oh, I'm on the same side of the equal sign. Look, I have negative 3x and positive 11x on the same side of the equal sign. So 11 minus 3, because the signs are different, is 8x. So now I have 27 equals 8x plus 3, minus 3 from both sides. 24 equals 8x. Divide by 8, divide by 8. 3 equals x. Just remember, when they're on the same side, you do the same operation. When they're on opposite sides, you do opposite operations. Just try. All right, so this one is 27 equals negative 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 11 times 3. 27 equals negative times positive is negative 9 plus 3 plus 3 times 11 is 33. All right, 27 equals negative 6 plus 33, because negative 9 and 3, the signs are different. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 is negative, so it's negative 6. 27 equals 33 minus 6 is 27. Signs are different, so you subtract, keep the sign of the larger number. So it checks. Yay! All right. Next one. 2 times 3x is, sorry, 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, equals 10x plus 10. All right, you want to go over the equal sign. So you're going to move the 10x to the 15x because you want to move the smaller to the larger. Minus 10x from both sides. 5x minus 10 equals 10, add 10, add 10, 10, not 70, well enough. 5x equals 20, divide by 5, divide by 5, do, 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 x equals 4. Okay, now I have to sub that back in and check it. 5 times 3 times 4 minus 2 equals 10 times 4 plus 10. All right, 3 times 4 is 12, so 5 times 12 minus 2 equals 10 times 4 is 40 plus 10. 12 minus 2 is 10, so 5 times 10 equals 50. Ah, that's good. 50 equals 50. So that one checks. Wow, that was a lot of math going on there. Hmm. All right, next one. Tell whether the equation has one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. Oh, I kind of like these. All right, so first, multiply it over the parentheses. 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 times negative 4, negative 12. Equals 2 times x, 2x. Two, 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Oh, that's going to have one solution. I'm going to write that down before I forget. One solution. Because that's the actual question. And how do I know? Because I have different variables on both sides. So when I subtract 2x from this side and from this side, I get x minus 12 equals negative 2. Add 12 to both sides. And I have x equals 10. That's only one solution. It's only one solution. So that's my answer. But I knew all the way up here when I had different coefficients for my variables. All right, let's take a look at this one. Ooh, Cootie's fraction. It's all right, you'll live. So nothing happens on this side. 2x minus 3 equals negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 over 2. And negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x. All right, divide. 2x minus 3 equals negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 plus 2x. Now, because it's a plus sign, I can switch them around. Or I could say, wait a second, subtract 2x from both sides. 
and I get negative three equals negative three. When they're the same on both sides, that means infinitely many solutions. Now, again, I knew from here, because I had the same variable and the same constant. So when you have the same coefficient and the same constant, infinitely many solutions. All right, let's try this next one. Seven times x, seven x. Seven times negative three, minus 21. Minus seven x, minus 21 equals zero. Hmm. 7x minus 7x is 0x. 0. Negative 21 minus 21 is negative 42. And that is not equal to 0. That is definitely not equal to 0. So this has no solution. When you get rid of your variable and there's unequal things, no solution. All right, let's try this one. 4 times x, 4x. 4 times minus 2, minus 8. Equals, I'm going to put these two together, 5x minus 1x minus 7. Why did I do that? Because I like my variables next to each other. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4x minus 8 equals 4x minus 7 minus 4x from both sides. And I get negative 8 equals negative 7. That is not true. Not true, not true, not true. No good. No solution. All right. I hope you did good with those problems. They were a little hard at first, but then they kind of got easy towards the bottom. Well, good luck on your test. There's only one of these problems on the test, so low stress math. You'll be okay. Take care.